What's up, everyone? I, uh... <laughs> I beat the Sith Raid on accident. With Master Kenobi. I, this wasn't supposed to be a serious run, so to be honest, this isn't really going to be a guide. I went in with what I had on equipped. I didn't do any work to optimize mods. And I ended up winning anyway. The clear time was about 44 minutes. Don't... That number... Pretty much this entire run could just be improved across the board. I was playing slowly. I didn't really have a full game plan. Was still just kind of learning how the team would kind of drive for the raid. Some weird timings and stuff like that, so... If I had to guess, you know, if you gave Kenobi like proper damage mods, stuff like that, maybe give Shakti some extra speed, you could probably get this down to like a 25, 20 minute clear. Maybe if you're, you know, really just in the zone, hitting all the right buttons at the right times. But yeah, you know, if you don't have Kylo or if you do have Kylo and you're bored of it, I still think Kylo, you know, Kylo is a very simple run. Doesn't need a remod at all. Just bring what you got. It'll be fine. Speed or damage set or otherwise would probably still work just fine. But yeah, this this happened. This one we will go through all of the loadout stuff here in a second and kind of talk through what I was trying to do. But yeah, you know, hopefully this will could be some inspiration for other people. This comp seems kind of ideal at the very least. You know, we have C-3PO here giving extra cooldown reduction. Uh, Ahsoka calling him to assist, and Shoxi just being a Galactic Republic with two targeted abilities that could just keep ramping Master Kenobi's uh, mastery. It all seemed to work together decently nicely. We did hit three enrages. Only one of them was really risky, which was Phase 2 Nihilus. But let's just get into the builds. We'll kind of dip into how I think, why we were getting into our rage so much, and how we could possibly improve that. So let's, let's get going. Now, for what I had running... This is, again, not necessarily optimal. This is just what I had on. This is what we were looking at for Master Kenobi. Was 574 speed, so... Kind of up there. You know, we got some 25s and 27s. A 17, though, kind of alongside it. Not a whole lot of offense focus either. I think if we really wanted to take this to its full power, I think we still keep a speed focus, but I think we drop the speed set for a crit damage set. Try to grab some extra offense secondaries where possible. You know, we have a few, but not as much as it could be, right? I think this team wants to focus on less hits, but more damage per hit, right? Again, we ran into three enrages, and that's, you know, again, only one of them was threatening, but I think we would prefer to try to avoid that, right? This team does a lot of hitting, so a lot of the raid bosses are getting a lot of extra speed, but... Yeah, I think Kenobi just wants to be able to be more self-capable as a damage dealer, and the crit damage set feels like a, a good long way towards getting there. And then yeah, health, offense, speed, pretty straightforward primaries here, right? Nothing too crazy. It's not using the squad screen for some reason. Alright, Ahsoka. So this is how she was built. Actually still pretty slow in my opinion, right? Uh, but I think we could actually probably go even slower and really just, again, lean in on that extra offense. I mean, she had a speed arrow with a pretty high offense secondary, but even then, honestly, probably still just go like an offense primary, add in some extra flat offense instead. You know, her turns are pretty low impact for the most part, and her crit chance, like this mod especially, is like a complete waste, right? All she can really do is like call Kenobi to assist when he's in high ground and she takes a turn. Other than that though, yeah, she's assisting a ton, so why not just put extra damage onto her assist, right? If we're just going for pure, so three performance, that seems like a plenty good way to do it. Just focus on crit damage set, crit damage triangle, and then just stack offense. That that sounds pretty good to me. Next. Uh, this is not... Yeah, this hasn't been changed since. C3PO actually just was straight up unmodded for the run. I was just lazy. I didn't want to make sure that he was weakest and check everyone else, so I just went in and ripped his mods off. Uh... C-3PO, even though he's the weakest on the team, doesn't really take damage much. Ahsoka, Shakti do plenty. So, even though he's the weakest, what this basically just means is when you heal everyone back to full, the game will prefer him. And I still think that that's worth doing, trying to keep his health and protection as low as relatively possible. But I mean, yeah, speed, potency, if we can get that triple uh, confuse up and running, that's essentially armor shred on the boss, which is fantastic. Yeah, right. I I wouldn't really overthink this too much. 
this is just how he happened to be in my winning run. Just grab speed, grab potency. Keep away from bulk if you can. If you can't, I wouldn't really sweat it. He doesn't need too much, right? He's a simple character. Chakti. Chakti is the main engine for this team because she has two ways to call Master Kenobi to assist. So yeah, I, you know, I think she mostly just had on what I would recommend anyway, just speed and bulk. You know, again, just trying to make sure that she doesn't fall into the weakest ally category where possible. But yeah, certainly, you know, she's 304 is pretty low for Shakti. She could certainly get a lot higher and you know, the more turns she takes, the more damage our Master Kenobi does, and that sounds pretty good as well. But yeah, I still think I mostly agree with this. I, I'm assuming probably a Relic 7, she has a... She probably breaks even or ahead, being better off with health. You could go that route. Uh, I just... Yeah, she's on pretty budget modding right now on five dots, so I just... She just has protection instead, right? Nothing too crazy or specific there. And last but not least, we have Hermit Yoda. 321 speed on him is pretty solid. But, you know, we got like an 11 speed, a 15, a 23, a 23. So kind of an average spread overall. Pretty much the same story. Uh, speed, bulk, doesn't really care about any other stat here, right? So, you know, like a lot of these are just like, this is just like a speed filler, right? It, it's kind of a trash mod. But yeah, just try to get him as healthy as possible. Mine did end up dying eventually. I mean, I didn't cleanse in phase four ever because I wasn't sure how the enraged situation would be. So, I mean, maybe he could have stayed alive for longer, but yeah, let's just mod him to be as ideal for that situation as possible, right? Speed, health, probably protection. Again, I'm not sure if health or protection is broken ahead for him here. This is not a, a full-fledged guy. This is just me reporting in on my results and how things went. So aside from mods, I mean, the gameplay for the team ends up being pretty straightforward overall. Uh, we have... Kenobi and Shakti kind of bouncing off of each other a little bit here. With Kenobi's unique, you can see uh, if he targets someone else, they gain a 20% mastery increase. Uh, keep in mind that this is based on the caster's mastery. So in this case, for example, we have Shakti as the most reliable way to call Kenobi to assist, you know, her having two ways to target him. He gains 10% of theirs, not 10% of his. So this is why I kind of prefer to keep stacking it on Shock T. There will come a point where you will stop targeting her with this and we'll start self-targeting instead. I don't really know necessarily what that timing is. Like, this is all just very feel-based, very imprecise. But yes, we it does need to be self-cast 10 times. So essentially think of it as 10 Master Kenobi turns and then we want to keep wheeling it out once it's fully ramped up. So I, I maybe like call Shock T two or three times, three or four times. And anytime that you're casting the uh, invulnerability move, you could also target her with that as well, right? It's very straightforward. And then, yeah, uh, Hermit Yoda, I did Master's Training on Master Kenobi, then a Master's Training on C-3PO, and then just kept on always giving it back to Kenobi. I didn't want to call extra assist on Ahsoka or Shock T. Just kind of being, felt like more speed for the raid bosses than damage that they would be doing. So it seemed better to me to just leave Master's Training on these two. Ahsoka. Just push buttons. There's not really any decision making for her turns. And yeah, Shakti, I, I think you'll you'll see I gave I had her give herself speed up early before realizing like A, the stealth was just great in phase one to make sure that Master Kenobi would not lose translation, as well as it's ramping mastery, right? So yeah, not really a whole lot to say other than that. C3PO. I just make sure, you know, with oh my goodness, just keep spamming targeting on Master Kenobi as well. Maybe I don't know if it would happen to be good to try to Use one of the first casts on Shoxy early just to get her to that triple translation. Maybe could get things moving a little bit more quickly. And Master Kenobi can reach triple translation a lot easier than she can. But yeah, you know, I my C3 is only Relic 5. So, you know, if you're like me, he won't necessarily be giving as much mastery as he could be. But overall, yeah, just keep <laughs> uh, hitting your special buttons and pointing it at Master Kenobi. And if people are taking damage, heal them back up and try to get back to the point where C-3PO is calling assist so that pretty much every Master Kenobi turn, we can just start doing what we must for the most damage possible. And yeah, you know, with ults, I didn't really do any special timing as well. I was just kind of jamming the ult as often as it came up. Because we're getting that uh, mastery bonus on activation and we can't gain ult progress until the ult ends, it seems to me like you would rather just keep that cycling as much as possible so that we can get up more, get more mastery ramp, and, you know, get through the raid. And yeah, all right, we're going to go into gameplay. 
I, I'm not going to do any commentary or anything. Again, you can see what I did. There will be plenty of mistakes in there. I can guarantee it. Didn't know what I was doing in there. Hopefully this will serve as inspiration to others who can refine the process. Maybe I'll try next time Heroic Sith Ray pops it back up for me. But yeah, happy hunting.